Anyway. Anyway. Bungo is what you've called the sign shop. Bungo sign co. Yep. Bungo sign co. Mm-hmm. Great Glaswegian name. Yeah. Where did Bungo <laughs> come from? Well, we originally, when we first got a studio together, it was in Strathbungo. Right, so okay. The bungle came from that. Mm-hmm. And then we got flooded. So now we're actually ah. technically in Shawlands. Yeah. So the bungle doesn't really, but we were like, we're Can't on really the change edge. it now. No. <laughs> it's a good name. Don't want to change it. It rolls off the tongue. Yeah. yeah I, like it. <laughs> I like it. I didn't think there was a story behind that. I was just like, it's just. It's a good <laughs> yeah. 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 So, Rachel, yes. you were in edition one. Yeah. yeah. Years ago. When did it come? Was it five years ago the first one came out? Just under five years. Wow. Yeah. So I was only maybe three years in at that point. Yeah. Yeah. To of my own being self employed. So um, what's changed since then? Yes. Yes. You know, it's good to see. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh So yeah, last time I was in Mount Florida Studios mm-hmm. and I shared with loads of other folk. Um, and it wasn't until I met Hannah that we moved into a proper sign, only sign painter studio. So that was the one in Strathbungo. Right. Um, but it wasn't it wasn't an ideal space. It was good for like the time we had it, mm-hmm. um, but we needed like more natural light and mm. just like a nice open space, especially for the workshops that we do. Um, so when when it, when the studio flooded, that was like actually quite a good thing for yeah. us, even though in hindsight it was, it was horrible at the guys. time. Like yeah. it was yeah. it was terrifying. Uh, you but had it was to make such that a good decision. yeah, it was yeah. such a good thing to like push us into looking for a shop front. And I've been thinking about that for like five six years since I started. So when this came up. Um, we're just like, we're like, all right, we'll just do it. Yeah, yeah. we'll just do it. Yeah. It's a big how's things changed since you got a shop front? Like your own shop front. How's things changed since then? Um, there's a bit of onus with that, isn't there? Yeah. Ah, uh-huh. we're we're very public facing. You know, people can see as it's such a thoroughfare between Govan Hill and and um, Shawlands. So mm. it's like people just pass here all the time. Um, and especially with like no leaves in the trees there, you can just see it straight across. It's straight good across colour, there, so it's good. Yeah, we wanted it to be really bright. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, so the pink and the yellow, Hannah's like kind of signature colours, yellow and mine is pink. So we kind of yeah. did a crossover and then Nine. introduced some like navies and blues and orange ceiling. That took us a long time to paint actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, people, for the first, we've only been here since like September, October time officially. Mm-hmm. Uh, for the first like three months, we just had people coming and asking us if we were still the fish shop, like if we still had fish. Oh really? Uh-huh. No, really? Is that why it's all tiled? Before, yeah, yeah. 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 Fish monger. Well, right. the tiles originally from a dairy, so that was what it was when it was built uh, in like nineteen oh six, eight oh eight, or something like mm. that. So that's all original, and the cow tile up there is original oh, yeah. too. That's so class. We love that. Um, but the fish, the fishmongers. I mean, it was a completely different space. We did a lot of ripping out of plastic and. Yeah, it was all that kind of like stuff. hygiene plastic. Oh yeah, walls. yeah, it takes a box on yeah. some form somewhere, so it yeah, used to be yeah, that yeah. one. Yeah, and yeah. the forms usually linked to someone who sells hygiene plastic somewhere. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. And you were meant to install it like a really simple tongue and groove, but they decided to like put silicon and fix it all over the tiles and then uh. stick them on. So once you got the plastic off, we then had to scrape all the. Fun and games. Yeah, eh? that was yeah. so fun. Yeah. We've got some days. really nice friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we've yeah. now all got loads of sign yeah. papers. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I know. So it took us a while, but it's uh, it's so worth it. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Definitely. You think it's a jump that's definitely made it worth it? Mm. Then? Yeah. That's good. Just in what way? Note your mic with your hair, just in oh. case. There we go. <laughs> in what way has it made it worth it? Just from people knowing <clears throat> who we are. Right. Um, I think like. Because I've been around for now almost seven years painting, I think people know me as just my first name. Um, but I've always kind of like worked in the shadows. Mm-hmm. But this was like a real jump out to be like, we're here. Sign painting is a big thing. Yeah. Hire us to do stuff, and we'll we'll host the workshops and and yeah, we've just seen like so many more people like knowing knowing who we are and, and what we do. It's brilliant. Yeah. Mm. Um, and yeah, people walking in and just asking us about asking us things is is quite fun. I mean, some people you're just like really busy sorry and they're asking like a million questions yeah. um, but most mostly it's just like oh it's really nice to see this here and yeah, like yeah. Good, kind of good luck and it's quite it's quite yeah. a nice interaction we have that's cool yeah do you think that gets you a lot of business in the community i think so yeah yeah i think so i've definitely um like people have got in touch through instagram or facebook or something and then when you say you know because we both have our own streams so like i'm under like sure signs as my like yep. independent and then obviously rachel lee miller and then when, you know, people contact me directly and I'll say, oh yeah, if you want to pop down for a chat, we're at Bungo Sanko. And they're like, oh, Bungo Sanko, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right. I was going to get in touch with them, didn't realise that was you. Yes. Like, yes. So there is definitely a bit yeah. of a, 
like familiarity for people, I think. Yeah, it mm. gives you a bit of a bolt hole in it. And there's also, Instagram's obviously great and all that social media stuff's phenomenal. Mm. Arguably, none of us as makers would be here if it wasn't for that. Yeah, we certainly so. wouldn't. Yeah. But there is the, the trust element of being able to walk into someone's shop and be like, mm. oh, they're here. Mm -hmm. They clearly never just set up last night. They have stuff here. Yeah. They have, you know, there's a, yeah. there's a bit of a confidence in, in buying confidence in that, I think. Mm. That Thanks must well, be yeah. good. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. having weakness here with clients is really good because you can also like bring out examples of things and yeah. like, show mm. them books and be like, I've got a wee book of all my gold work. So I just bring that out and see like, oh, this, I've done this, this and this. Because so, obviously you can't like, all the shops are just out there. Mm -hmm. So yeah. having photos of them is <laughs> yeah, like the best thing just yeah. to be like, <laughs> yeah. here, Take this is tour. what I've done. And <laughs> this is what we could do for your shop, that kind of thing. And like yeah. really like pushing like, how we can make the signs work for their business and like, you know, getting their clients that they want and the customers they want. It's a big thing. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me this. So one of the biggest issues I had when I was working in film is try, how do I say this without being an asshole? <laughs> Trying to get people to understand their creative vision mm -hmm. themselves. Like everyone seems to know what they want, but mm -hmm. not be able to communicate mm -hmm. what they want. Tyrone, the graphic designer that works for us, will be listening to be like, that's you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but the, <laughs> that must be a massive part, especially now having a shop of being, because everyone knows they want a hand sign painted, mm. but it's not as broad as that, is it? It's all mm. very different. There's different ways of doing it. There's reasons they would pick Sure Sign Co mm. over Rachel Lee Miller. There's mm. reasons to do the mm. opposite. Yeah. How do you tackle that one for anyone else listening that's in a similar position? Uh, do you mean kind of like to start off with kind of brief to like figure yeah, out like how to design something? Of it. Um, visual references are probably the best things for us. So like a mood board with like already signs or like artwork or lettering work that they already like yeah. and kind of a rough colour palette and also like what it is they're doing. That's kind of the main thing. Um, I always talk about a tattoo shop that I did in Shawland, Satellite in the Sky, and she gave me references of she said like I want moons and stars and space here's some like vintage travel posters nice and here's a color palette and that just and she she trusted me to just like go away and do it paint mm. it and, yeah. and come back and I think like there needs to be like trust oh, from yeah. both ways as well yeah. just know that like we can work do what they mm. what customers want um but yeah there's a, there's definitely like a trust both ways yeah like Glasgow Zine Library sent us a Pinterest board of all like kind of old like American um, not supermarkets, what's the American word for? Like a grocery oh, store, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, right. uh, things like that. And it was just like really fun to like have a look at all the things that they'd like saved in their Pinterest and kind of like pull things from. Your brain's going crazy, like, yeah. oh, I could do yeah. this or I could do yeah. that. Yeah, but uh -huh. I think also like that comes from that client also being quite like visual and creative. Like, there are some people that like have never even thought about what they want it to look like. Mm -hmm. And then they you're like. They just know they want a hand painted. Yeah, they just yeah. know. Well, they just know they need a sign. Right. Yeah. And they're kind of like, you ask them questions and they're like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. So mm -hmm. it's like, you need to, like, we've kind of got like a list of questions. Like, mm -hmm. do you have any colours in mind? Do you have any styles? Yeah. Like, try and find out a bit more about what they're doing as a business as well. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. that's the choking point. And that's the choking point for a lot of creatives and myself when I was in the engineering side. Like, 30, 35% of my job as a, and I believe to be a good engineer, you need to be able to communicate well. Like mm. that's the choking point. What's in their head and what they're expecting to see, how they deliver it versus how you receive it and how yeah. you deliver it. Yes. The choking bit in the middle. So like the Pinterest board's a great idea. Like mm -hmm. here's everything I like, mm -hmm. like go do the thing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That works. That's ideal. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, and I think it helps that like we're, we're both like pretty accommodating and like nice chatty folk yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I think of people who are, it's, it's a shame but like people who are a bit shyer or like not won't like put themselves out there as much like might not end up with like a load of work mm -hmm. on the go you know it would be an amazing painter but like communication is such a such a big part of it that you yeah. need to be good at it it's weirdly one of the things that I almost enjoy the most because I come from like a hospitality background okay. so I feel like going into being self-employed before meeting Rachel mm. I found it quite like lonely like just kind of like painting by myself and like yeah, just being by myself. So I actually, I actually really enjoy the like client like interaction yeah. and things like that because that's what I did for so long. I'm mm -hmm. kind of like used to it. Do you think the hospitality background is a good stepping stone into working for yourself? I think so. Yeah, um, I sometimes kind of miss like getting my rota 
and going yeah. in for like a specific time and like getting yeah. paid at the same time. Yeah. You know, yeah. 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 There's no surprises, yeah. so, you know, you don't go through quiet periods. <laughs> so I do kind of miss that, like those elements to it. But I think in terms of like confidence in yourself to like go out and speak to clients, I think yeah. like I owe a lot of that to working in hospitality because you just got to speak to people and you've got to be polite and you've got to fake it till you make it you yeah. Know? Like, yeah. yeah I remember yeah, like so. selling like a frozen defrosted scone and told the person that I made it myself <laughs> <You know? laughs> and I just had oh, to leave it super genuine, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> what did you do before this Rachel um not really that much in between uni and and you painting pretty quick isn't it well, yeah uh, I probably spent like a good six seven months ish in between uni, not really doing much, went back to stay with my parents, um, was just trying to like find connections and things. And then I worked with Kieran Globel at Globel uh, Bros for like yeah, six or seven months or so, like after that. So I had a kind of, oh my God, what am I doing yeah. after uni? Um, figured out, what well, I'll need to go and do this. So then I got in touch with him, worked with him a little bit uh, and then went out on my own just after, um, kind of started getting my own commissions from from that. It's mostly through graphic design, actually. Lots of graphic design companies. That That's what you've done at uni, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. you've done graphics. Yeah. And had you always, when you were doing graphics, had you always intended on doing a more, not doing a, more, doing a less digital version of graphics? Because yeah. graphics is very digital mm. the way it's taught yeah. now, to my yeah. understanding. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, Edinburgh College of Art is like really conceptual, so I wasn't really taught like huge amounts of It was more like phys com. I suppose like oh, cool. right, okay. so actually it was like a very broad projects you would work on and then you would just need to like communicate it in the end you kind of did a bit of like print design and stuff like that but I just was just terrible all that kind of stuff I couldn't <laughs> do it um it wasn't until I went to Boston in the third year that I did a course in hand lettering for design and then I realized the same painting was a job and then I was like oh I'm going to do this so that's what I focused on that's amazing like because we went we traveled to Norway as part of the university and it, it really you know doing those experiences are so Amazing. Mm-hmm. I think. Just opening your yeah, eyes to yeah, stuff. Exactly. Opening your eyes to different things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about you, Hannah? When was your eyes first opened to sign painting? Um, did you do graphics as well? No, I, no. I didn't study. Um, I went to college and did an HNC in visual communication right. after school. Um, and then applied to art school twice, got rejected twice. Mm-hmm. Had that very, like, don't know what I'm supposed to do. Um, do you know them now? You're like, look at me now. You were yeah. Wrong. yeah, I still see like uh, one of the people that interviewed me, and I'm like, I've made it. I don't need you. Um, but yeah, no, I definitely felt very like lost, and like I think I was very like tunnel visioned on going to Glasgow School of Art to study graphic design. Right. I don't really know why, but that was just like what I wanted to do. Um, and then after not getting in for the second time, I was kind of like, I think I need to like reevaluate like why I'm not getting in. Like okay. there's obviously something that like isn't working. Right. Um, so I like took a bit of a break from kind of creative stuff and yeah, I was working in hospitality. And um, cause I was like the arty one, they would always get me to do like right. the sandwich boards and the whatever. And I just like, at first I was like, oh, this is great. I get to sit for a couple hours and like do something kind of creative and I'm getting paid for it and yeah. I don't have to make coffee or whatever. Um, and then like the more that I would do it, the more I'd be like, oh, I might try and put like a little 3D effect on that or I'll like try this different colour way right, okay. and like just kind of like start thinking about it a lot more and like getting quite excited for when we had to like update the month's mm-hmm. event page or things right. like that. Um, so yeah, we just do all that. And then one of our regular customers was like, oh, um, I know someone that does this for a living. Like at the time it was Windowman Mikey on Instagram. I remember being like, no way, like no way someone does that yeah. for a living and like following on Instagram and being like, oh my God, he actually does. Mm. And then that was like the total gateway, like started following like Rachel and Kieran and like all the other like sign painters. That's and I was so like, cool. wow, I had like no idea that you could do that for a living. So then just kept, kept A lot of it is that. Yeah. A lot of it's just having your eyes. There's still crafts that like drop her an hour in box and I'm like, nah, this is my yeah. thing, like, come on. Yeah. And I'm always amazed by it and we live and breathe it. You know, there's yeah. so much that I think, especially if you've come from academia, you know, like the graphic design side, there's so much that's just completely forgot about, mm-hmm. which I suppose is the majority reason why we are doing this, to like show the world there is still stuff out there. Things mm. you don't get taught how to start a business, so it's like, you don't yeah. think, oh, that could be a business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, hmm. How was that jump for you both? Starting a business. 
Like, how do you go out and find customers? How do you how do you do all of that in the sign painting world? Uh, I kind of feel as if I just f- like it just gradually happened, okay. and then I realised that I wasn't getting any other job, even though I was trying to get graphic design jobs on the side and stuff as well, and I couldn't even get hospitality jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, nobody wanted me to do anything apart from sign painting, and I just saw that as like a divine like yeah. <laughs> I think from the, the gods in telling one. me exactly yeah. that's uh, where you should go. <laughs> yeah, so I think it was um, it was probably my dad. My dad's a lawyer, so he said to me one day, like, "Oh, you know, if you're going to be paid for doing this and that, then you need to be self-employed." And I was like, "I didn't even know that was a thing." Like, mm, yeah. it just came as a bit of a like a surprise of like, "What? This yeah. is I no, no I idea." I quite enjoy just yeah. painting the thing and getting cash. Yeah, like, exactly. Is that not easy? Exactly. Right? exactly. Um, but just yeah, just graduate. It's so much just a big learning curve of like you do it and you make a mistake and you have to do that again. You learn and, as you go. Yeah, like yeah. I think I was only burned a few times. You know, at the very beginning of when I didn't know how to communicate with clients properly and. I didn't tell them like wasn't really transparent with pricing and all that kind of stuff so I think there's only a couple of times where I was like oh they didn't pay me for that or like oh that was a bit of a just waste of time or you know Mm. but it was like definitely just learning as you Mm -hmm. as you go along I think um how did you find it what like starting a business Mm -hmm. well I feel like I like put it off for as long as I possibly could (laughs) Mm -hmm. um and like because I was doing it like in the cafe that I worked at and then I'd go and work at a different bar and then I'd go back to the cafe that I used to work at and do like I was just doing it kind of like for fun and a bit of like pocket money and free lunch and stuff yeah. like that for yeah, ages right. the, um, I think like one of the first jobs that I actually got paid for I was like oh my god like <laughs> what yeah. um, people pay for this I've yeah. been doing it for free for yeah, ages yeah, yeah. exactly so yeah. I think like because I'd been like kind of messing around with it for so long, it took me ages to actually take myself seriously to be like, okay, this is a business. Like I need right. to actually start like quoting for things and invoicing for things and mm. not just turning up and then being like, oh, how does 150 sound? I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah. Like, right. You know, so I think mm. there is a lot to kind of work through with that, like getting my head around taking myself seriously. That's yeah, like taking yourself seriously, I think, is one of the big ones, isn't yeah. it? Where you're like, no, I am a business and I do I'm charge worth. this. And yeah. I, we've been doing this for forever and it's like, of, well, forever, five years. And <laughs> feels like forever. Late, <laughs> yeah, it feels like forever. <laughs> yeah. um, of late, there's been a lot of like, bigger opportunities land in the inbox and you're like, yep, that's cool, it'll cost this much. Oh no, we didn't want to pay for it. I'm like, all right, cool, <laughs> wow. it still costs this yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, there's this... There's this weird kind of like, oh, but it's the exposure thing really bugs, mm. bugs. And, I, and that's kind of, we obviously, our whole business model is to provide exposure, but mm. then we don't charge or take time for, and yeah, it's, mm. it's a whole thing. But taking yourself seriously and deciding like, this is the point I'm going to put a contract in place, or this is the point I'm going to do X and Y and Z, I think is one of the big things that a lot of makers could do with education on. Mm. And it just doesn't seem to be there, right? Like yeah. there, there isn't really the... Like you're lucky your dad's a lawyer who's like, mm. you need to go self-employed. But past that, there's no one saying like, this is how you structure a creative business. This is how you do X, how you no, do Y. No, that's yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've learned most of that from you, mm-hmm. really. I think because I didn't take the leap to go full-time self-employed until I started working with Rachel. Right. And then started kind of looking at how you did things. And I was like, oh, that is a sustainable way to run a business. Whereas mm-hmm. before I didn't know how to do it. Yeah, because there's no there's no education on it really. No. Yeah, no, there, there isn't. is, but there's st- where'd you start? Like, mm. and yeah. what's yeah. right and what's wrong? Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. what's and the legit? Thing, like what we were saying earlier about like there's so many different crafts that every business model is going to be slightly different. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like the more niche you get, the more it changes how you like run your business. Yeah, I think top level they're all the same, like profit, loss, pay, yeah. etc. Yeah. But actually, when you work out, you're like, well. There's so many other levels underneath that that need to need to work. <clears throat> so you guys introduced courses, which seems to be really good in the maker space. Workshops, the more people yeah. we speak mm. to that do like courses, workshops, that must have been a massive change yeah. of everything. Yeah. Especially as a sign painter, because it must be a pretty. I mean, I know you guys work together, but mm. the sign painters like um, David Bond, we know, like it's pretty much just like rock up yourself, do the job, mm-hmm. come back okay. and do it. How's yep. the courses changed things for you or workshops? Oh, it's so good. I, I started doing them maybe four years ago right. um, in my old studio. So it was part of like a, a craft school called Archipelago Folk School. Okay. So they do 
like boat building ones as well, like canoe oh, ones nice. and things like that. Um, so he, I went to one of his courses on carving letters, that, that sign up there that says signs with oh, gold nice. carved into that oak panel. Um, and I just thought that was really interesting. And he was like, oh, do you want to do ones with me? And I was like, oh, cool, great. That sounds good. Um, so he sorted out all the, all the admin things and then I would just do them myself mm -hmm. um, in the old studio, which looked pretty exhausting because I'd always have six people, I kind of limited to that it's and we long. still do six people, but it's still really tiring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so we moved to the new space uh, and I was working with, it was me and Hannah and our, our friend Duncan, who's peace signs. I was like, oh, do you mind if we still do them in here? And then Hannah started like assisting me on them and now we're kind of just like co-running them at the same time. And it works so well because you know, we all, can yeah. concentrate on mm -hmm. all the different parts of of the workshop and getting materials ready and how they're getting along with things mm. um, and yeah the chat's great like we get people from all over the place like yeah. Inverness down to London Dumfries yeah. Um, yeah. Aberdeen Edinburgh like people just coming from all over the place and yeah the chat's great like by the end of the weekend everyone's just having a time together yeah. and yeah it's really good and I think they're just always so surprised and like pleased that they can do something like so intensely over two days and then come out with like a really cool piece at the end of it, yeah, I think they're kind of surprised at them, their own, yeah. their, you know, their own uh, yeah. ability to do it, and it's like the space to concentrate as well. Because I think like so many things, we have such have such short attention spans now. Yeah. So I think because we're like in this <laughs> really four and a half, four and half seconds. seconds. Wow. wow, that's the start. That's the latest. That's four and a half seconds. And it's on the way down. Yeah. 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 Well, so like having this space, which is like, you're in a sign painter studio and you're going to paint this sign. Like people just really concentrate, don't they? Yeah. But there's no distractions. Mm -hmm. like yeah. You're not at home doing it. Doing yeah. It. You're, yeah. You're I think that's space. the thing. I think like, obviously we're not like harsh teachers. It's not like we're standing over them being like, paint yeah. those letters. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, like they're here, they've paid to be here. We are kind of like watching them. We're giving them feedback, criticism, like, in a way, it's kind of like holding you accountable. Yeah. Because yeah. like I did online, I followed like online tutorials and I'd like do it for a bit and be like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, like I yeah. think yeah. The, the difference like being in person and having someone like kind of watching you mm. means you're going to stick with it for longer. And then I think the longer you stick with it, the more you actually want to do it and get interested in it. Yeah, big difference. You kind of, what kind of people come to the classes? Is it creative people or is it just like somebody who's never been able to do it? in creative before an absolutely a whole range of people yeah. like we've, awesome. we've had That's pretty cool. like doctors nurses who are like being on like a five or six day 12 hour oh shifts God, and yeah. all that and then like they've come to paint a sign at the weekend yeah they're like, like two Whoa. days off she <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh-huh um, has a breakdown like, mid sign yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. like brilliant that was amazing Librarians yeah. and people who grow vegetables. There was someone who wanted yeah. to do it so they could like paint little signs for all their vegetables <laughs> and things that they're That's growing so and their herbs. Um, we get a lot of graphic designers yeah. and like kind of architect type people that mm. want a break from the computer and they want to do something with their hands. Mm. I'd say that's the kind of most common type mm. of person that we get. I could see that yeah. being the real, yeah, the real benefit in it is people that have. As you say, they just want to do something physical. Mm -hmm. Like I don't want to click anymore. I want yes. to draw this out. Mm -hmm. That must be a real such escape. Satisfaction from actually doing something with your hands and that's oh, yeah. how they feel. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah, there's lots of studies now about how good it is for your brain actually like working on something. I think it's where like crochet and colouring and stuff comes in, yeah. isn't it? Like it's very good for your brain. Yeah, like a lot of the people like at the start are like, Oh, this is really meditative, like it's therapy. Really relaxing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 It's yeah. therapy. <laughs> So yeah, the oysters in uh, Blue Ridge, wasn't it? Like the years, one yeah. one guy had been going for. So they make bamboo fly rods courses, Ooh. and one guy had been coming for I don't know how many years, but he'd done twenty one classes. Ooh. Nobody needs twenty one fly fishing mm. rods, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't care how good fly fishing. <laughs> yeah, Nobody yeah. needs them. And then he'd like moved to the area and everything because he was just like enthralled by. It. And he was some like big deal businessman. Mm -hmm. We were speaking to him when we were over there. He was doing a course, and I was like. This is it. Yeah. He's like, oh, I'm so happy when I'm here. I'm like, oh man, you must be miserable when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you do that super creative thing, you're like, oh, I've got to go back to the NHS for 12 months. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It must be miserable. It's so weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Total like Beyond. shift. Do you think there's many people from that that will then go on to be sign painters? What does the up and coming lot of sign painters look like at the minute? Mm, good question. I actually don't think there's that many people who will go into it. Um, I think Kieran thinks the same thing as well because he did quite a few Graphic Design Festival Scotland day courses that I assisted him with and you did a few of them yeah. too before we knew each other. Because, but you yeah, did. 
<laughs> I did I did Rachel and Kieran's workshop two years in a row because I wanted to be a sign painter. <laughs> Neither of them remember me from the workshop. Oh, oh. Yeah. So that means you weren't that bad. That's true. That that's bad. true. That's you true. may not have been fantastic, but yeah. you certainly weren't yeah. really bad. And yeah. then when we Distinctly moved into average. the studio together, I was like unpacking my stuff and I unpacked like the letter that I'd painted at the workshop and you were like, Oh yeah, I remember that. And I was like, you don't remember me. <laughs> <laughs> there's like a phone Instagram of me like next to them, like <laughs> 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 but at least you weren't rememberably bad. Yeah, so, exactly. I would exactly. take it as a compliment. I'm like that with people we meet out on the dog walk. I like remember all the dogs' names, don't remember the people. Oh, like, yeah, so I would, rem- I would remember the work uh-huh. like you've done, mm-hmm. but I wouldn't remember the person. Remember the person yeah. So you'd done courses two years in a row. Yeah. And then I, did you do them with the idea to become a full time sign painter at that point? You'd done all your bits and bobs in cafes and then. I think, yeah, I don't think I was like this is going to be my full-time thing. I think I was just like, I really enjoy this and I'd like to do it more. Mm. Um, and yeah, like Kieran did, it's like a one-day workshop at Graphic Design Festival. Is that like 2018, 2017 or something? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I like did that and we kind of learned a little bit about the materials and the brush strokes and then we like drew up one letter and painted the letter. And then next year, the Graphic Design Festival comes around, Kieran's doing the same workshop, exact same like the exact same thing and I went back and did it again <laughs> and he in front of everyone was like I recognize you like how do I know you and I was like oh because I did it last year and he was like why are you back <laughs> <laughs> doing the same thing we did last year and I was like I don't know I just, I just, you know, I just, I just want to do it again it's <laughs> fun right but yeah there's I mean there's not many places you can do workshops and mm-hmm. um, so like at the time that was it like that one one day workshop that happened yeah. once a year was the only mm-hmm. time that I could learn from anyone, like officially. Yeah. It's amazing though, how big the world is and there's, and there's just not enough workshops, is there? There's no. not enough people doing no. that sort no. of thing. No, Should be. Is it quite an accessible yeah. thing to do in a couple of day workshop then? Like you could punch out a reasonably good sign yeah. in a couple oh, of day workshop. Yeah, people come up with really, really nice panels. Yeah. 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 We usually just start with like block letters, but some people decide to go for something a bit yeah. kind of um, different, like style wise, but then um, we just say like keep it chill, you know, not, not don't add loads of effects to things. Mm. I think it's just like not trying to be too ambitious with like the first thing they've ever painted. I think it's just being like yeah. keep it yeah. nice and simple. But I've seen like, this one on really the side good. of a building and yeah. I'm like, great, yeah. I don't want to do that. Uh-huh, have like, you got bells and whistles? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, but in general, people, yeah, they come out with a lot of good stuff. Um, and I haven't really heard of anyone from our workshops going on to do. Not that I know of. More no. painting. Um, there's a bit more in, in art schools now as well, though. I know that Thomas in Edinburgh, Thomas Paints, he, yeah. he does some first year workshops in uh, graphic design in Edinburgh now. Okay, um, that's cool. So that's it's more of a thing. Yeah. Um, but I think, I feel as if decor- painting and decorating are trying to phase it out and then art schools are trying to bring it in. Yeah, it's kind of like a painting, decorating, thing. qualification at college, they do one day assigned painting. Um, really? And a painting and decorating course? Mm-hmm. But we've heard from a few people that no one wants to do it. Um, I wonder why. I don't know. I mean, yeah. we we did. We heard from one woman a few years ago because it's a very like male dominated course. Mm. They very mm. much, um, well, not to make assumptions that all men want to just do the trade, but yeah. like I think the kind of attitude of the class in general was like they were there to be painter decorators and they didn't want to like explore sure. different mm. avenues within that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But she kind of wanted to explore more avenues within that and one of them was sign painting and they did a day's workshop and she said they literally just like flew through it because no one wanted to do it, no one really participating, mm. which mm. is a shame. Yeah. But it's so different from painting decorating that it's like maybe that isn't the place for it to be. Mm. To be, yeah. Mm. That's what I'm thinking when you're explaining that. Like, is that going back to communication, is that because it's badly communicated? They're thinking, why would I spend all the time doing this when I could paint six rooms for X amount? Yeah, but actually, yeah. it's a much higher value skill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to pay your day rate to come and whitewash my rooms. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, yeah. it's, a, yeah. it's a totally different thing. It's it's not painting and decorating to me. Like, it, no. it's somewhere between, it obviously is painting, it's somewhere between graphic design and, well, it's signage, isn't it? Yeah, That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, I, I can't see how that's a good fit. No, it's just one wee day as well. It's just like, how are you ever supposed to get into no. it? Yeah, and, it's, and as far as I know, it's taught by the lecturers. It's not taught by... They don't get sign painters in to teach. Mm. And I think you should that email would them make, and just be like, we yeah, would teach really just talking about yeah. that the other day. That's what I would yeah. do. Because I'd, you're bringing sort of like... 
the whole package. You're yeah. not just saying this yeah. is this is kind of what it is. It's not this really is not sign painting. This yeah. is what it's it is like to be a sign painter. Showing them someone that like, actually does it. Show the work that you have mm. done. Look, this yeah. is the possibilities of yeah. learning this. You know. Mm. Yeah, I think there'd be an opportunity there. I think it's not a bad idea. <laughs> to be yeah. just to be because it's it's not it's not painting and decorating, is it? Like these are. They need someone that can say what the opportunities are. Like you guys mm. can be like, these are the opportunities. These are the cool things we've painted. You know, when we were speaking to David Bond, they took us a drive around Waco, Texas, and showed us the big sign they painted up the side of the belt like that. Oh, to me, cool. I was like, yeah. I want to be a sign painter. <laughs> yeah. Where do I start? Yeah. Yeah. Just because you've got a big, massive machine and you're mm. painting stuff up on a wall. Like, yeah. there's a, an excitement that you can build with that that I don't think you could build in a college painting and decorating class. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, enthusiasm yeah. is a big thing as well. You know, like every time we speak about it, we're just like, oh, we did this and we did that. And mm. it was like, you love it. it. Yeah, I was at my old secondary school yesterday actually doing a oh, job yeah? to, to hire an advanced hire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was dead weird being back. Like, that was like 12 years ago. Yeah, like, um, oh, I finished up. So, but it was good to talk to them. I mean, I'd, like, I had, as I said, no idea until I was in third or fourth year uni that this was even well, a we thing. We need people so like you to go in and take. Know. I, yeah. know, I know it's time and what, whatever, but mm. like, you know, you might be passing on, you know, skills to somebody else. Like, oh, I didn't know about that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Inspiring. Inspiring. Yeah. Next generation. Yes. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. I also talked at my mum's primary school that she teaches at, Sean's up the road. So that was like, you know, like nine, ten year olds or something. So I was like, get into it now. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be really yeah. good. I was like, come work with me. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever think about that, taking on apprentices and taking on other people? Yeah, we've talked about that before. Um, it's, it's just difficult because D a just self-employed life is just everything is just so up and down mm. and you'll just be like so busy with so many things to do or and then one thing will be put off because of the rain and this yeah. and you know there's not like a solid we are working x days a week come and do this with us so that's where things that's would get true. a bit tricky um but we'd maybe look into something like a like funding for like an adopted intern type yeah thing if, like apprenticeship stuff, stuff out there, out there. Yeah. yeah um like in a couple of years i guess like maybe when we're like super established here and you're like totally getting all your because you're a bit newer than I am yeah. and uh, we're getting a steady amount of work through Bungo like that would be pretty ideal for it um, so yeah, it's good to have that in the future yeah. to work towards and yeah if you had enough bench jobs as well as mm -hmm, the outside mm -hmm. jobs yeah mm -hmm. just like stuff to do keep yeah. busy with when the weather is bad and like mm -hmm. yeah that's something I never really twigged until you and said in it Scotland, there well, yeah. the weather's yeah. never yeah. quite <laughs> It's one, it's one thing David's saying, yeah, go and paint out in whatever heat and oh, dear, yeah. what about the rain? Oh, <laughs> the opposite. It's so difficult. It really is. Yeah. Um, I think I think it is the wettest city in the UK. I've looked up before. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Because it, it rains like half of each month or something like that, which is just ridiculous. Like, Edinburgh's just happening. super windy. <laughs> yeah, 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 windy, windy. And here's yeah. just super Cold. wet. I know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, that was it like this morning. We were like, oh, it's dry so we can finish this job. And I was like, I was up and it was just like, whoo, like yeah. wind, like the whole yeah. time. And my br and I was, my brush was actually shaking. I could feel the ladder shaking. Yeah. The wind takes out of you were as like well. like freezing and I was just like, well, it might be dry, but it's I not. I love this exactly. job. I love yeah. this job. Yeah. 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 yeah, shouting affirmations to yourself. Yeah. 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 Living my dream. Yeah. We moved, I'm Edinburgh way, but we moved. I used to live, I was born here. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah, I was born nice. just right, and I used to go to Dairsy School, which is no longer Dairsy, I don't mm. know what it is now, but mm -hmm. it's funny coming back to these spots, you're like, oh, I remember yeah. when I was this high, yeah. you know? We nice. moved out west four years ago, and it's just wet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you did, yeah, yeah, you yeah you, you've always lived out this way, up out yeah. of foil, but with, I was walking down south, <laughs> south at the time. So we moved, <laughs> moved this way, and I was just, I am... Um, you it like never it. ceases to surprise me how wet it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love yeah. it really. Oh, I do. I love it. It's absolutely great yeah. when you get on the plane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, with regards to taking on an apprenticeship and stuff, do you think you is there scope for more bench? Because I think it's sign painting. I think I just like shot frontages all the time. Mm. Is there scope for more bench based work that would allow you to do that as yeah. a sign painter? Yeah. Um, well, you did our <coughs> We Are Makers sign. For yeah, our fest. That, was a really, yeah. that was a really nice one. Yeah, we do, I do plenty that are that size, and so do you. We, we did mm. quite a few before Christmas, just like commissions of like funny phrases and people's names and things, babies' names. So I did quite a lot of them actually. Mm. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Nieces and nephews and things like right. uncles and aunties signs. can be cool. Oh, wedding, yeah, wedding signs, signs are quite good. Thing. Yeah. Um, so there's plenty around. Yeah, and uh, if you get a bit more into the, the gold side of things, um, then you can do quite a lot. Of, Glass, glass and gold ones, but I'm not sure how they post. I don't know. I would be so. 
yeah scared of those getting smashed somewhere down the postage line but yeah. um so yeah. there's there's plenty to do there as well yeah 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 uh -huh. talk to me about because this is very new for you isn't well let's say very new it's your newer thing the the gold leafing and mm -hmm. doing it on glass and stuff how's that all worked out for you because it is all it. still yeah. sign painting isn't mm -hmm. it but you don't think of it as different material. i always think of it as a completely different craft it's, it's absolutely not it's still sign painting it's just another layer to it yes mm. so you definitely need the skills of painting letters and numbers in order to do the the kind of extra level of like the chemicals and the tools and all these things you right. need for the gold it really really helps to have that i think some people jump into just doing the gold first and they're kind of like running before they can walk mm. so okay it's like i did we all both did like a few years of painting before we like figured out how to do surface and glass gilding um but it's it's such a good one to do like i mean for for the houses around here i mean it's Perfect. whole of Glasgow is just yeah. such a sandstone wonderland of like mm -hmm. all these amazing mm -hmm. houses and tenements and all that stuff and even flats people have asked us to do flats so oh, really? we do the numbers above the doors and um, they just stay like that for like decades you yeah. know like forever oh, the, basically the glass so, slip that's yeah, always the, above the, the tenement doors yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 cool. so, yeah so we do, I think I've done about 40 of them around there you've really done, you've done a few as well um, and so that's a great wee one dare you just go in and get to sit around some of these nice big house and they give you tea and yeah, sometimes right. lunch and stuff and you get a wee chat and it's very like low pressure really yeah. like fun it's fun quite work. nice and personal yeah uh -huh, and they're always like delighted with it um and um restoring them as well i've done a few on sandstone pillars at the front front of the drives mm -hmm. and also like above them when the you know if it's like 100 years old and the gold is maybe like kind of off a bit. cleaned off a little so bit that's so that's external not on glass that's actually external gold the sandstone ones are is external onto the just like surface gilded onto, right, okay. onto the sandstone itself and then the kind of ones yeah always the ones above the door is like reverse done behind the glass yeah and um, so yeah having the kind of bare bones like little bits of letters and then reconstructing them that i find that really fun i've done that a few times and kind of thinking like what would this guy 100 years ago be thinking when he was designing yeah. this or like just right, going okay. up on the spot kind of thing yeah, and i'm yeah. like i bet he never thought there'd be some woman in 100 years like coming in and redoing <laughs> this like yeah <laughs> they probably be like women don't paint signs yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah that's the truth yeah. Yeah, that's the truth so i always like i'm quite chuffed with that like. do you ever like <laughs> sign it or do you, is that something you just don't do uh, no not, not really not for like the smaller things yeah. no i just think there's like, yeah there's not really a subtle way to do it but no. for big shop fronts that i've designed uh, we all kind of tuck our name somewhere in somewhere. it. Like we did a, a few, we put Bungo in a, in a wee bit down the corner. Yeah. yeah. For like particularly, really like the design we've done. Yeah. Because you want people to know who did it, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but you're very good in your socials, I have to say. Oh, nice. Like you're good at like, sh you know, even if you're on the job, you're taking video footage. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's a big... A big plus because I like watching it. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's, it's become really big these days. We're, yeah. we're getting into TikTok more and doing mm. reels as well. That's like, right. loads of so old paper. there. Oh, <laughs> we're getting into that TikTok. <laughs> I feel the same. Shut uh, it, we mate. have to cross, -paste, cross post to TikTok as well because yeah. it's just like, part of the job. And yeah. I'm like, I open it, I'm like, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like ADHD inducing. Like, if you didn't have ADHD, you do now. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. so much. Yes. <laughs> It's so hard. Yeah. There is a few crafts that really... Tra well, there's a lot of crafts, of course there is, but mm. there's some that really transfer well to social media. Mm. I think sign painting's one of them. Because mm -hmm. mm. it's usually like bold block colours. Yes. And it's just crisp. And there's the there's obviously the time lapse and like the, the satisfying mm -hmm. aspect yeah. to it. The, how's that brought business to you, the social media side of things? I've is it a key of, driver for you? Yeah, I mean, it used to, a couple of years ago, that was how I just got all my work all the time. Definitely. Really? I've seen the, over the last year or so, definitely a bit of a drop, but they're just pushing reels more. So we're kind of trying to grapple with it a little bit because you want to produce the work well um, and put just a lot of it because you have to make money. But then also there's now reels coming in, which are taking, it's taking up more of our time to mm -hmm. make process videos and like... Yeah you know editing and all that kind of stuff so it's like where's the kind of sweet spot in between where it's like we don't want to spend loads of time doing it and then not getting more work done and but this is bringing us more work it's just like a kind of in between thing so I, I feel as if Instagram for me used to be the main thing for years yeah. and then recently it's just the engagement's dropped a bit because of the way that they want you to post now but it's like we already paint the signs and it's another thing to do yeah so it's just trying to figure out like the best way to to do it yeah i think as well like before because it was just like photos of the finished product like as a client you're interested how the finished thing looks mm -hmm. you're not really if you're looking for a sign you don't really care 
you know, if they're laughing whilst they're doing it and they're, yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 there's a fun song, you know, like if you want your sign painted, you just want to know what it's going to look yeah. like. Mm-hmm. And I'm fe- I feel like it's a bit of a, like the, the engagement is dropping on Instagram, but I don't know how much that's actually impacting like what potential clients are looking for because you are looking for a portfolio you know you're not looking yeah. for a kind of like process video right yeah, uh-huh. yeah so I don't know it's it's kind of hard to tell if if it's worth going down that route of like making reels and everything or if that's actually might yeah, hinder you a little know. bit because mm. then people don't know what the finished thing looks like as much yeah so I do totally agree with that 100% the backside of it is the more engagement you've got, the more people see it, the more people see it, the chance of getting yeah. clients yeah. higher, isn't it? Yeah, that's the exactly. fine about we have. It's yeah. just like, post, just post, just post. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's not, not, it's not arguing, gonna just post. It's not, it's not going to hurt, just post. Yeah. Yeah. Our, our next, I've said this on a podcast before, people that are listening will think I'm a broken record, but <laughs> I think our next scale, as in first hire, first real hire, other than the freelancers that work with us, will be a content guy. Because mm. I don't, th- I just don't like you said. I don't think you can do your job and put out content. Mm. Like our content, well, most of our content is chopping up podcasts. Yeah. I don't think, and every craftsman we know does such a good job of it. Bear in mind that they're not a social media mate, like mm. content creator first hand mm. or a craft person first. So posting anything's a second job. Yeah. It's the American side hustle, you know, mm. it's, that's a whole other job. And all the content's getting of such a high quality, right? It's mm-hmm. The higher the quality, the more time you need. Yeah. The more you need to put into it's it. True, yeah. It just How, becomes however, this... However, sometimes you do the most ridiculous reel ever that the picture's blurry and it seems to do really well. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I literally didn't think about that. Oh, it drives yeah. me crazy. I like, did one, what? I did one, it was like um, for the workshops mm-hmm. that we were doing. And I was like, oh, I need to make a reel for the workshops. And I... Every workshop, I'd take videos of everything to be like, I'm going to make like a recap reel yeah. and I wouldn't do it. And I had like four workshops worth of like footage to like scroll through. So I was just like, I'm just going to put them, I'm just going to mm. merge them all together and just put like a fun song and it's just going to be like flash, 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 yeah. flash. <clears throat> Took like no time, barely any effort, got loads of likes. And then I spent ages doing one where it was all like chronological and like step <laughs> by step and it got like nothing. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> it's so yeah. funny that, isn't it? You're just like, what? Roulette. Yeah. It's absolutely roulette. It is, it's, a, it's a constant mm. battle. But I think mm. it is like, you just need to get content out there and not think about it too much. Cause mm. I, like, I was, we're trying to write more blogs, right? So we're mm. doing this new website and I, I wrote, a blog for the first time and I was like it's overthinking I'm an overthinker mm-hmm. and if I overthink it I just don't post it I don't do anything with it yeah. Yeah. but you're better just to post it because <clears throat> that's engagement mm-hmm. that someone's yeah. going to someone's going to like it yep. you know mm-hmm. but so you see a lot of your clients come from Instagram certainly in the early days do you still find Instagram good for local work definitely yeah yeah, yeah. We will, we'll have people message quite a lot on that and then we say, yeah. oh, please email us. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we can't keep up with all that. Yeah. Uh, but I think, yeah, it still does really well for that. Definitely, right. like, around Shaw and Southside, this is just still where the majority of our work is. It's, it's good to hear, isn't it? Because yeah. I think the the preconceived notion is with Instagram is it's so global that actually you'd be better going Facebook or something mm-hmm. super local if you were doing local work. Mm-hmm. Which you guys don't... I mean, yes, of course, you could travel, but you Yeah, travel that's the thing I was going to say is that... Oh, interesting shot. To paint a sign or just yeah, to do... Just, well, to paint a sign, yeah. Where's the further you have been? Um, up to Aberdeenshire, down to London. I've been to I Lancaster. Have. Lancaster. So you've not flown anywhere yet to do any work. I went to a show in Chicago when oh. I was kind of first starting out and I was in... I put some work into that. That was that was really good. And I was my work was in a show in Portland, Oregon as well. But I just flew there and then flew back again. I yeah. didn't go with it because it was COVID. Oh, <laughs> right, okay. That's a shame. Um... No, we'd like to go other places for signs. Definitely. We could. But. I feel like signs has a bit of a historical journeyman travelling sign mm. Mm. thing attached to it. Is that right? Yeah, there used to yeah. be lots of, lots of journeyman sign painters. Just like roving sign painters everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. especially in the States. Like Hannah was over in the States working with a sign painter there and you heard a lot of that chat, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, that was, when was that, 2019? Mm-hmm. Um, I was over with... Uh, Mike Meyer, not the actor, is like a very good sign painter. <laughs> right. um, yeah, and they're just like on the road all the time. Like he's like in Minnesota, but then we'd like go down to like Jacksonville. Um, oh, I don't know, I've lost track of what state. We were like, we drive through like four states to go to a job and stuff. And I would just be like, 
It's mm. so bizarre. Mm. <laughs> like, and those four and states then, are all the size of countries. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and we'd be yeah. like, like um, towing a trailer and then sleeping the trailer <laughs> overnight and stuff like that. And I was like, surely there's a sign painter closer to mm-hmm. where this job is getting. You know, mm-hmm. why are we travelling so far? But it is just this feels like that's the culture of it. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, there's so much more space, so many more people to work with over there. It's just like yeah, it seems like never ending. I feel as if like Scotland yeah. is very. We're just confined to like our little blob of land, and you yeah. can fit Scotland inside Georgia four times. Wow! And Georgia's Woof. not the biggest state. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> you can fit all the UK inside Texas two point eight times. Yeah, that Jeez, does make sense. Yeah, and I think oh. Georgia's got four million people or something in it. Like the the populations are comparable. Mm. It's just it's woof. it's bonkers. Yeah, it's absolutely yep. bonkers. Mm-hmm. It'd be, it's like impossible to try and like figure out if you could work over there, you know, the, yeah. because the US is so is so tight now and like Europe is also bad because of Brexit now as well. So it's like, it's, oh yeah, how would you like Buyers jumping through the hoops? Is, yeah, because our friend, um, she's in Berlin and she had a really cool project that she needed help with and she wanted us to come over and help. But we were just like, there's no way to work around it with Brexit. So we ended up not getting paid for it and she just paid for all of our lunches and dinners yeah. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And like, you know, she was a really good friend of ours and mm. we treated it as a holiday anyway but it yeah. was like you know you if, it, if it was a client yeah. like if it was an actual client it would have been a nightmare mm-hmm. yeah. to try and work out it's yeah. a shame there's nothing in place for creatives to, to do that sort of thing because yeah. you know it's a shame that you know we can't just travel easily yeah. to mm-hmm. do a job yeah yeah, yeah. and I, you know they should be benefiting from that but oh, i don't know brexit time they don't want us to, that's it, isn't it? They, I know, they I know. At least don't want us to go and make friends in Europe and no. <laughs> do anything fun. We are, we're <laughs> like getting on, the, we're getting on the tin hat. <laughs> yeah. We're getting yeah. on the tin hat track here. The <laughs> sad thing. Because I'm, I'm with you on it. Stay in, <laughs> stay in the yeah. UK and don't yeah. go anywhere. Don't get any culture. No culture. Go <laughs> no. in the UK. Yeah. Yeah. Quite. Do you think the the US way of like because they, they kind of buy into the personal brand of the sign painter from what I understand and, and for a lot of craftsmen like the travel inside it's like well I like his work oh but this person does it similar like almost identical on their four doors now no no I like his mm-hmm. do you think that's as prevalent here? I'd say so well a bit of a bit of yes and no mm. what yeah. do you say? Mm, I don't know I think like there's definitely clients that like will go to certain people for certain things, even yeah. if it's not the most convenient because they like that person's work or they like the way they do it or whatever. But I also think, I mean, I don't know where I was in America was like very like small town. Like I don't think I went into a city once the whole time I was there. Whereas, you know, we we're more like city based and stuff. And I feel like the businesses within cities, a lot of our kind of like bread and butter work is they already have their branding mm. and they come to us so I could paint it, Rachel could paint it, mm-hmm. Kieran could paint it, Duncan could paint it, and it would be the same thing because it's they've provided the design. Okay. So they're they're booking the technical <laughs> skills, not necessarily yeah. the artistry. Uh-huh. Right. So that's a lot of our kind of like more like daily type jobs. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I think they're booked more out of convenience of who's close and mm-hmm. things like that. But mm-hmm. yeah, when it comes to like actually wanting a sign painter to design something and then I think people start going more specific with who they like the work of. And mm, yeah. It comes down to style and colour choice and if they think they're also going to work yeah, well with like that person as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think that's what's really good. Also, come back to like having the shop again, is like people, clients who might be hiring us can see, oh, there's Rachel and Hannah. Like, we can talk to them. Put a face to the name. It's the, and like, it's the face and yeah. mm. um, us being like, yeah, d- like decent folk that will help us get jobs, I think, in the end. Um so yeah, there's like there's a definitely like a 50-50 split of like jobs that you'll do from start to finish or just do a mural for someone or something like that. And then there's jobs where everything is already laid out for you and it's just a case of sizing it, placing it, painting it. And actually it's really good sometimes because sometimes you don't want to have to think about things from yeah. start to finish. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Get in, get out and, and get paid for it. And that's a that's a really good thing. I think the variety is what makes it one of the best jobs yeah. to do. Yeah, you're never doing the no, same thing. Yeah, exactly. No two days it's the, the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So do you think you prefer that, the balance to, or would you prefer to just be like the name and then just say, I want you to paint a sign? I prefer the balance, yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just, I think it would just be like too much for your, <laughs> for, for my brain <laughs> to like yeah. just design things all Constantly. the time. Um, and there's the admin like associated with that and then licensing and how 
they use that for their business. Like mm. that's the kind of going into more graphic design territory again, and, so and that's how they kind of yeah, yeah yeah. I've done it I've done it a few times with with various companies and like how they're going to use that. Um, so it's another whole other kind of more illustrator territory, I guess, mm. like yep. how they lease out their their work and things. Um, so there's just so many things within it. It's just mm. really difficult to to figure out. Um, but yeah, variety is, is the best thing about the job, I yeah. think. Yeah. It's interesting because you hear both sides of it, don't you? And, and I don't think either side of it is wrong. Like I, I can buy into what you're saying, like the variety, where sometimes you just want to get a job done to put money mm. in the account. Mm-hmm. And then you get the other people that are quite happy to sit a month without a job because they get their job. Whereas mm. someone just saying, just yeah. do you. Yeah, it's interesting. And I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. I think everyone will have a different yeah, answer. Different I think it's totally yeah. personal preference. Yeah. I don't, I don't feel precious about my designs or you know like I'm quite happy to paint other people's things yeah. or my thing yeah. or whatever mm-hmm. I think yeah the variety makes it interesting and it makes you really appreciate the jobs where you have designed it and been there from the start because mm-hmm. you're like I don't get to do that as much yeah yeah how about the licensing side of it then how does that all work for you as a sign painter um usually it's just kind of figuring out like what they're going to use it for and then paying a kind of lump sum um yeah. for like X amount of time, like the intellectual property lies with whoever designs it, but then it's kind of leased okay. out. Leased so out it works. Whoever <coughs> business. still your yeah. design. Yeah. Uh-huh. You own it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm still, it's, it's different for every job, and yeah, right. especially imagine. when it comes to like bigger clients and like, how are you going to use this? And like, there's so much more back and forward with it. Um, but you, like, most often it's just smaller businesses like a cafe or a um, hairdressers or something like that that wants a business like in the south side and you know that it's not really going to go much further it's when yeah. things start if you were to ever get stuff on a billboard or mm. the packaging or that's a whole other side of things which is quite difficult to mm. to maneuver around yeah. um i've come across it a few times but like not really taking it much further just because of it's just it's just then becoming a graphic designer, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> like I really yeah. would prefer just to like have a balance and and not just be sitting on a Mac all day. So yeah, yeah. Figuring out as it goes along, as I said earlier well, about yeah. self-employed life, you just yeah, don't know fine. what's going to happen. But it helps to have a lawyer <clears throat> friend, an illustrator friend, graphic yes. designer friend, <laughs> yes. so you can like piece it all together with all this information and try and figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, you're sense. sat there thinking, yeah, it's great to have a Rachel friend. Who's got <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like Rachel's talking about like the legal stuff, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, don't worry about Ra- that. I'll approach Rachel when that comes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, once you guys are gone, I'll just get to explain it to me. <laughs> 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 All the one of the things that was really interesting in America um, was the the sort of ghost signs. You know, David mm. was really interested mm. in the ones that are kind of starting to blow out, and then there's quite a few in Glasgow. There's mm. a yeah. lot in Glasgow. I send them them quite a lot when we're driving through Glasgow. I'm like, hey, look! Yeah. <laughs> and the, he probably gets really annoyed by it. Mm. The signage that's like starting to blow out, and he's kind of trying to bring it back to not new, but mm. Mm. like a less blown out point, if that makes sense. Do you do much work on that stuff? On the big, because there's some really no, cool ones around Glasgow. Not really, no. It's a much bigger thing in the States because yeah. the sun is much, especially here in Texas, the sun mm. is very, very yeah. strong. Things will bleach out way, way quicker than here. It's mostly just water damage that will that will right. peel signs off here. But even but if it's if it's there's not any water getting on the actual fascia itself and it's like at a tilt or something, then it can stay like that in Glasgow for ages because we just don't get the sun. Yeah. 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 Um, so we don't really get folk asking us to redo signs because um, the ones that are underneath the boards that are there are just going to get replaced with another board on top of it, mostly. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that, that's a business that's already gone out of, gone out of business decades ago, yeah. so they're not going to bring it back. It's just, oh, there's a cool ghost sign, take some photos. And then our pal Scott Telfer does a lot of um, photographing them whenever they appear. So oh, he's cool. got really good records of them. That's cool. Um, especially around South Side. Uh, so yeah, we don't really get asked to do it. It's just, yeah. it's cool it's there to be a picture. Yeah. And away, again, away it goes again for yeah. a couple of decades or however long you. Yeah, it does seem like the Americans do a really good job of holding the town's history through stuff like that, don't mm. they? They, mm. they do seem to be spending a bit of dough on, or even just on restorations or on redoing them. Whether the building's there or not, like it was a historical building that done X. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we'll uh-huh. keep it going. That yep. doesn't seem like the culture here. Yeah. Not as much as I see anyway. I think also in America, there's they do a lot more of like painting onto the actual buildings, like onto yeah. brickwork and stuff. Whereas here, we don't do that so much. Especially in like Glasgow, like in the cities and things, it's like, it's all kind of flats and then right. shops underneath with shop fronts. Yeah. There's not really like the kind of purpose built brick buildings where yeah. you put your big billboard on the side and you paint directly. Mm. 
like that's not just doesn't really exist here and that's right. the kind of thing that will like age quite nicely and then you can restore it and then mm. you know there's not really so much of that here yeah there's also like in the industry big industry was such a huge thing in the states like around mm -hmm. a certain period so like there'll be loads of signs from the 20s 30s when it was yeah. a huge big boom of all yeah. the stuff made in the states and now it's not so much anymore so they're trying to bring Sadly. that back yeah. and it's also a load of the signs are painted so you can see them from cars because that's all yeah. people do in the states is drive yeah, that's what yeah. I was going to say people it. just walk around here and just see the signs and they're just right there you cannot yeah. walk about in the states no, you know no what I mean? just sitting here like so how do I get to that pavement like, yeah. Yeah. It's just <laughs> a void of danger and cars in between yeah. Yeah. it's so different mm -hmm. that makes sense though like yep. big signs going past it pretty quick mm -hmm. big Even blocky letters yeah yep. no serifs no yeah, little yeah, yeah. intricate bits it just needs to be like poof, seen mm -hmm. as you drive past it yeah. yep. seen yep. remembered yeah go back to it mm -hmm. yeah so what's next now that you're in bungo sign co you can obviously do a lot more mm -hmm. what's next well once we've once we've kind of got the studio space to what there we wanted. There was a look there, so this is yeah. Like, we're like, what do we start with? There's no big secret. There's no big plan. <laughs> um, we're just still working on the studio to get it like the way we want it. Even yeah. just like putting up some shelves and putting up bits. We've just done this over the last like few weeks, really. Um, also like draft proofing it and making it a wee bit warmer for us because it's cold. <laughs> it's There's nothing cold. above us, so it's just like it's just a wee cold box. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's a that's one of our main things to begin with. Continuing on the workshops, we're just always just going to have a steady, steady uh, system of, of getting the workshops out because mm. we really like doing them. And then I we think want to like develop just... the workshops, like yeah. introduce more, mm -hmm. maybe more specific because you're doing a couple of intermediate ones. Yeah, yeah, I've got a February and a March one intermediate uh, workshop. Do you advertise them just on socials or how do you? How'd Mostly the beginners ones all on all on socials. socials. Yeah, you sell it? Um, yeah, yeah, we've, we've sold out the ones we've put up so far. That's cool. Um, for for February, March, April, and then we go back again and do them in the aut autumn again when it's yeah. less busy. Mm. So I'm doing one on dimensional and convex, so how to do the casted shadows and all mm -hmm. that good 3D stuff, and then how to do the kind of beveled lettering. And then I've got one on casual and serifs and things. So that was just, I kind of pointedly just went back to the loads of people who said they were interested from the beginners ones to do more, and I just emailed them directly mm -hmm. and said, hello, I'm doing these ones and sold them out as well. So yeah. people, there's obviously people want to do more of it yeah, yeah. Um, and but that's also good because you know you're not going to get people jumping in to intermediate without having makes yes, your job exactly. much easier to teach yeah. it right uh -huh. so these are kind of trial ones and then i'll just see like how they go after that and um, you're also going to do some canal boat rose ones yeah. kind of soon and um, some what ones sorry canal boat roses Come out. oh yeah, so, yeah like the old kind of traditional like that's, roses and oh, scrolls and yeah, stuff yeah. so yeah, i've started yeah. um yeah in the last like year got really interested in them started painting them um and yeah, we'd love to teach them, and we've had a bit of interest from people. And would you teach them just on a, on a? Yeah, just on a panel. Ply panel. And yeah, then just like the kind it. of techniques. So we got a bowl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I mean. That's it. Like, I've painted boat on these panels, but I've never <laughs> painted on a boat. Yeah. Yeah. Again, there's not really like the culture of like canal boats up here. Yeah. Down in England, they're all yeah. all the canals are connected so and stuff. Yeah. There's no yeah. canals here, so. No. But it's quite a romantic thing to sell, like yeah. canal yeah. boat roses. So. Most people will have seen them at yeah, some point, subconsciously. Yeah, stuff. I mean, I've not finished it, but I'm doing that like red. Oh, that's Ro so pretty. Um, oh, cool. That's thing, so like down. trying to... Yeah, bring it down. Yeah, yeah. I love Can flowers. I love it's not actually finished yet, flowery. but... Um, that's not yeah. amazing. So yeah, really trying nice. to like, I'm keeping my eye out for more like enamel wear to mm. paint things mm. on. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm hoping to do some workshops with that. Maybe I paint totally some like that. enamel mugs and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense because it's... Like the enamel where you're talking about is then a product line. It's something someone can own, like your panels. Mm. Yeah. You know, not everyone's got a shop front, and I don't know what my neighbours would say if I just got like <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Jack's house. You know what I mean? yeah. <laughs> like, can do to... that for you if you want. Jack, I mean, yeah. sweet. <laughs> Jack and Kate's house. Oh. Jack and Kate's house. Oh, <laughs> just Jack. Don't worry, we'll paint Kate's house. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. Kate's house. Yeah. 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 And then we'll paint over it, Kate's yeah. house. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the yeah. small print at the bottom. Yeah. The um but making it just from a like craft staying alive point of view, making it into products yeah. or making it available on products, I think that's quite important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It means that, like individuals can can have a little bit of it and yeah. see what it's like. Yeah, yeah. So small things like that is a good thing. Also, got a few of these Glasgow panels as well. They're brilliant. Um, they're just like pretty pretty easy just to sit and paint a few at a time. Yeah. Um, 
too. That's a good thing. But we also we want to go really big. That's another thing we want to do. Yeah. So yeah. get on proper lifts and do some some bigger work. Um, we've got some some bits in the pipeline. We're doing a distillery job in a few weeks. Nice. Down in Girvan. Um, and we want to get on some lifts and. There's some fun great stuff like murals that. in Glasgow. Yeah. There yeah, is some great murals mm-hmm. mm-hmm. in Glasgow. It amazes me how people can do that because you're not looking at it from afar. You're literally up close. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I'd be like, how do you manage like? that? <laughs> How do you manage that person? I watched the site when I used to work in film, I'd watch the, not sign painters, scenic painters do the mm. back and like up close, you're like, right, there's a blotch of black, there's a blotch yeah. of green. Mm. And then you stand back and you're like, oh, forest, of course it yeah. is. Yeah. Right? Yeah. How do you manage that, being so close to something and then especially letters? There's a few different techniques you can do. Um, we u- usually do pounce patterns. So it's like kind of, we've got a machine for it there, which will design it on Illustrator, send it to that, and then it gives you sheets with holes in them, and then you hit chalk pads through them, so that right, transfers okay. onto the des- on the design on. So that's stuff that I would do for like wall murals and yard works and stuff like that. Like that's a really quick way to do it. But also, folk who do big gable ends use like scribble, um, doodle grid, doodle grid, which we've not used. That's more for like spray paint people. So doodle grid. So they'll like, <laughs> I mean. I bet you spray paint people will be listening to this being like, that. Oh, she's expensive. <laughs> but my, my understanding of it is they'll doodle really simple, maybe numbers or letters or little illustrations all over the wall and then they'll take a photo of it and then they'll layer the artwork on top of the wall and make it transparent so they've got a like reference point for all the right, how so they to map it all out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They also just do like regular grids. Just split everything up and then just say like this is what's going yeah. on in these squares. Mm. I did. Um, I helped out on a gable end in Minnesota uh, a few years ago, and they we just waited till night time and projected it, mm-hmm. oh, and then cool. traced okay. it. And we did that. I did another gable end in Merchant City in Glasgow. Yeah. And we did the same thing. It was literally my little like at home cinema projector, Love and it. we had it, and it was like right up like on this thing. And see from a distance, you're like, oh yeah, that's the image. And then when you get up close, the lines are so blurry. blurry. Yeah. Kind of, like trying to figure it out. Yeah, <laughs> Not that's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so big, you want to go big? Yeah, we want to go big. Sight in mind, that you got something in mind for it? We've we've been approached for a few things, but like nothing is set in stone yet. It'll be like around Glasgow. Or so annoying that you're like, bit, like <laughs> I know, I just need it to need it to happen. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, just a couple more festivals and things as well I've been thinking about. That'd what be good festivals fun. are there? Like a kind of like painting, fe- street, like yard street art ones. Okay. You know, like, heard of yard works in Glasgow? I've heard of yard works, yeah. Yeah, so we're painting that in May. Um, You're doing it live while the festival's yeah. going on? Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's quite there's a few like live painting street art festivals, but then also it's becoming a bit more of a thing that they're having live painting at like music festivals. Mm-hmm. So I was painting at like Connect Festival last year. Um, so over like three days was like painting this mural. Mm-hmm. Um, Who's the guy that emailed us last night? We should put the guys in touch. Oh yeah, um, One of the carvers in Edition 9, he does a live carve in there and it's a big music festival and they're looking for loads of artists to oh, do cool. stuff around. I'll, I'll tie you in an email. Yeah. That'd be great. That'd yeah. be cool. Because yeah. it does seem to be a thing like some off-site entertainment. Yeah. 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 It's different, isn't I it? I think, yeah, because like... I think the like music festival scene is changing a lot, you know, with like a lot of the big ones like Tea in the Park and Rock Ness and the really boozy ones are all closing down and I feel like yeah. they're trying to be lean more into like the arts and wellness and stuff. So like Connect Festival they had like ice bath massages, like oh, really? all these yeah, like all these things. Yeah, they had like a whole stuff. like um <laughs> a whole bar for like alcohol free drinks, like all that stuff. So they're just trying to lean more into like wellness and positivity oh, yeah. and creativity like, and stuff. Yeah. So I think mm-hmm. There was like six of us painting like, you know, quite big um, nice. murals and stuff. So that, I think that was quite nice. People to just like sit around and watch. Rather, I'd than enjoy watching I'd that. Definitely definitely yeah, that yeah. I think yeah. I'd enjoy watching that. I enjoy what anyone doing cool stuff. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like I'd really enjoy that. Just there's something really satisfying, and like when I watch your guys reels and stuff, it just I'll use my patience. I'll use my little patience. known knowledge of sign painting, watching someone snapping a line. Oh, yeah. Is that a good, is that a good yeah. one? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty old school, actually. Yeah, is it? Pretty old All right. School. Yeah. It was a pretty old school uh-huh. sign painting. Thing. <laughs> um, yeah, just watching because it's so precise. Yeah. Like, it's so precise when you see it mm. happen. And we'd have a bit of a detachment from that. Mm. Like, seeing someone put something down so precise. Yeah. Do you think that's what makes it so attractive? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, that's a big part of it. Um, yeah, we get people talking to us all the time when we're outside painting. 
Yeah. I mean, half the time it's like, we missed a bit, you spelt it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, nice Glasgow. to see a woman off a ladder. <laughs> we weird stuff like that. You're like, I don't know what, that's a compliment <laughs> yeah. thing. You're like, it's a bit strange. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're just like, love to see it. Most people are just like, great job. And they're just like, oh, oh yeah, nice. cool. You know, they just really like to see us out. Yeah, doing you it. don't see that anymore. Yeah. It's mm. true though. What sort of age ranges are these people that are making the good comments to you? Not the whole spot of it, but the, um, you know, the, the interested people. It's a bit of a um, variety. Like we definitely get some older people, especially like older men, just being a bit misogynistic and being like, oh, back in the day, there wouldn't be women doing that. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 But also I've had some like equally, some really lovely conversations with people who maybe did used to do sign painting back in the day or their cool. dad did mm. or something like that. And I really enjoy those like interactions Memories. with people. Yeah. Because yeah. it is like, it was so much more common back yeah. before vinyl mm-hmm. came out and took everyone's jobs yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. you know so there's a lot of people that have like memories or family members or mm. things that did it so that's it's kind of nice. romantic and mm-hmm. that idea of so that is, that is a romantic thing yeah, yeah that's for sure. it, i think yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. what about younger people do you get many younger people coming up and I mean, other than no. the ones that are watching your reels on their phone as well. I was yeah. yeah. actually yeah. <laughs> just stopped myself from being like, no, because they're just looking at their phones. <laughs> <laughs> they're looking but at I their do, phones of the thing that's happening. Yeah, there, exactly. Right? Yeah. But I do think generally, like younger people. I mean, I don't. I don't really stop people in the street if I think what they're doing is interesting. Because yeah. I'm of that generation where I'm like. Oh, see if they're on Instagram and yeah. I'm just yeah. not going to speak to them. Yeah. <laughs> but Mostly you know older people. I did that with yeah. Rachel though. She was, I followed her on Instagram for ages and I did her workshop twice. She was painting a You're sign. You're really not better about this because you picked up three times. <laughs> <laughs> but she was painting a sign on the street and I walked past her and I was like, I'm just going to go up and say something. <laughs> and I was like, hi, I follow you on Instagram. <laughs> I really like your sign. But it really worked. But it, it worked. worked. Yeah, right. now. Yes. Well, so Best there's a, mates. <laughs> expand on that. There's, like a, there's a story in that. You liked someone's stuff. You've just went up yeah. to see them. You now have a job working with them. Yeah. Well, I know you do your own thing, but you but work yeah, together. We, yeah, yeah. That isn't something most people would do, though. No. Mm. Takes guts. Like most people wouldn't just yes. be like, hey, love your stuff. Yes. Yeah. How do you do it? Can you show me? Yeah, because Not I'm the two times sure. that you've already shown me, but <laughs> yeah, this time. Yeah. We'll forget about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, because I think also, I think I like came up and I was like, oh, I really like your work or whatever. I follow you on Instagram. And then it took me a while to actually then say, oh, I also paint. Uh-huh. Like, I think, like, it took me, like, that was, like, the second bit of guts that I had to, like, yeah, yeah. you know, be like, yeah. I do it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You were like, oh, cool. Yeah, sweet, nice. Why yeah, do you think it took you a while to, to say that? I, I don't know. I just think it's like, I'm, I'm sure like a lot of people can relate to this sort of not feeling very confident in your mm-hmm. like creative practice. And like when there's people who are like doing what you want to be doing or are more successful, there is like a bit of like embarrassment about them seeing what you have created or make or whatever. So it's like, yeah, just like kind of having that confidence to be like, I do this too. And mm-hmm. I've not been doing it for as long as you and I might not be as good as you, but I still really enjoy it. And yeah. like, I'm not ashamed of you to like see that or know that. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm still into it. Yeah. Like, that's mm-hmm. the key thing, yeah. right? I might not be at your level, but I'm still into it. Exactly. And I'd yeah. love to have to a learn. conversation yeah. about how into yeah. it I am. Yeah. 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 I mean, we see it time and time again with like so many of our pals who are, are not male sign painters like that's a big thing for them um we we hosted a uh meet a letterheads meet so it's all like a big gathering of sign painters in cool. glasgow in february 2022 just after kind of the second lockdown i guess mm-hmm. i bet that was needed uh, yeah it was yeah. really really good i mean lots of us got covered from it but it was yeah. <laughs> like, um, 44 <laughs> women and non-binary painters came from nine countries to really? glasgow to from nine meet. countries yeah wow. from nine cool. countries yeah it was it was just so much more popular than i'd imagined that it would be when i kind of like said to hannah like oh we should do this thing and you were like yeah let's do it yeah cool um, well, that's cool. So that's be, like, like such a big thing. Like but 20 people or something. Yeah. And it ended up being yeah, 44. How uh-huh. did you manage uh-huh. that? I think just made up as I went along as well. Like I've never <laughs> like never hosted an event or anything. Hannah was such a good help with it. And we just said good to you, can we have there that? We <laughs> you know, just figured it all out as we went along and asked some people for advice and things and it all came together. But we, we did a, um, the chat along during the weekend and then also the kind of 
post survey thing that I put out it was a lot of people a lot of women and a lot of non-binary painters just being like I literally don't have the confidence to just like go and speak to people who are really good at this and mm. feel as if we're like it's very male dominated yeah it's really right. like condescending right. like there's all these old guys who like they just want to mansplain all sign painting to you mm -hmm. when actually that's not what you want to do so I yeah. feel as if like it's more of an inherent thing of us being like less putting out there you know mm -hmm. putting our work out there <clears throat> so that's something that we're trying to like by doing that meet and by like encouraging other people who aren't old man old men basically no. <laughs> to paint um is to like really encourage them to like it doesn't as you said it doesn't matter that I'm not as like good and experienced as you it's just like I really want to learn and like yeah I'm really into it it's awesome would you do more of them yeah uh-huh yeah. I mean at the end of the weekend <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> at the end of that was two years ago now at the end of the weekend um yeah, people were like, oh, when are you hosting the next one? And I was like, exhausted by that point. Yeah. I was like, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> sometime, you know. Um, and there's been chat about other ones, in, one in Berlin and maybe in London and things mm. like that. Yeah. But it's like, Our just friend a lot Veronica to take on. last year in yeah, Copenhagen. Of yeah. mm -hmm. Nice. That was really good. Um, it wasn't as big a turnout because um, it was the same weekend as Glastonbury. And it turns right. out all the, like, sign, all the women sign painters down south all go to Glastonbury and don't miss it mm, anywhere. Ever. Yeah. And Veronica being from Copenhagen didn't even know what Glastonbury was yeah. and did it on the same weekend. So it was mm. like definitely a lot less people. Just a busy time really of year. Nice. But it was very nice. And there was and we met a lot more European mm -hmm. sign painters that we'd never met before that had just started out and stuff. So mm. that was really Take nice. it they just yeah. like decided to fly up and just come. That there yeah. was no like yeah. costs involved or anything. It was just like as mm -hmm. a, as an event it just come. Yeah, 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 pretty much. That's cool. That's bracket. There's something quite nice about yeah. that that you've that I know you've not purposefully passed the torch, but then someone else has done it there, and then someone else can do it there. Because you could end up with four or five of them a year, but you couldn't manage a business yeah. and do yeah. four or five of them a no. year. Yeah. But if every person from that forty-four or even half mm -hmm. committed to doing one every third year, you'd have a really cool thing. Going. Yeah, I mean, it's and like surely yeah. for business, it would be good too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, really I, th I just think it's so funny because the one that we hosted in Glasgow, like you named it Birds of the Brush because like That's birds, so like we're kind of reclaiming the like you birds. With a U. U, obviously. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then the one in Copenhagen was also called Birds of the Brush. And I just think it's so I funny that like these Danish, they just these Danish women are just like, yeah, we'll just call it Birds of the Brush too. And I think that is like the name, like we all kind of refer to each other as like, oh, the birds. The birds, like, yeah. Even like, like the, even like the really cockney, cockney southern English yeah. gals, yeah. Welsh yeah. gals and Irish gals are like, yeah, birds, birds, birds. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. So uh -huh. I'd love to see you build that over like 10 years to like some big Japanese convention centre just yeah. with birds. Yeah. 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 That, that would be like, birds. Yeah, I'd be like, <laughs> they're successful. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they've made it. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, cool. No, that would be great. Yeah, it was amazing. It was, yeah, is there a stronger great. community of, or, well, first off, is there a decent community of sign painters, but do you find that womanhood community, women and non-binary, mm. a stronger community in that? Kind of separating from the the negative experiences you've had mm. with sort of older male sign painters. Do you think yeah, there's, there's a lot there's, of strength in it. There's such a strong yeah. bond between between folk now. Even just like that first meeting of saying like, oh, I'm from here and I do this and do that, and then suddenly there's that connection is built. So then you just message them on Instagram all the time, and you just have like a back and forward. And we went to go and help our friend Julia in Berlin, and then we met like um, our friend Emma from who have known on Instagram for years. She came. She was over from uh, Sydney for like a few weeks so she, she came, came, came to Copenhagen to for, in Copenhagen nice. yeah so that, that was a really that. really fun connection to wow, make as well, and, as well. yeah uh -huh. Wicked. so it was, yeah it was amazing it's so That's good to have so like all this chat and uh, yeah we're more likely to ask them to help us on jobs or like vice versa mm. as well like there's just like there's so much just more for like advice? A, yeah because uh -huh. you know they're not going to mansplain you <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah it's such a big one yeah. Uh, so yeah, we love it. We absolutely love it. Definitely, there'll be another one in Glasgow, I think. Definitely, yeah. but we just need to figure it out. Heard when. it here first. Yeah, yeah. 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 just announced. Just announced red right three. Yeah. 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 We are makers. Yeah. Build us and they will come. I'm just going to put loads of shorts out and post yeah. it everywhere. Yeah. 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 You have to sponsor us then. Yeah. Oh God, how do you find money to sponsor you first? I'd love to sponsor it. I'd love to sponsor something. Honestly, see if we won the lottery. Oh man. Yeah. We just know what we'd do. Yeah. Yeah. Buy a sports car and have it. That's not crap to drive. <laughs> the community side, though, is interesting because anyone can build an online community. Mm. We've done it. We've done it through print to kind of have a bit more skin in the game. Having people in a place, you can't 
someone said it on a podcast the other day, you can't AI community. Mm. That there's something about that, having people in a place that then builds just this, this huge sphere that just kind of grows and grows and grows, doesn't it? Because you've got people that you've spoke to in real life that know you personally. They don't just know how you text or yeah. there's something different to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think there, there could be a lot that people could do within other little craft niches of getting people together. And, and yeah. they do happen, mm-hmm. but there's Is something really more? nice about it. Yeah, they could definitely happen. We more. all get too, like, you know, wrapped up in the day-to-day. But we all make our own business work. We do. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense. Like, it makes sense. Yeah. It does, mm-hmm. but it would be nice to make more time for that sort of mm. event. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because it does change lives, it does. Like yeah. It really does. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. I think in terms of, yeah, building confidence, making connections, also like skill sharing, mm-hmm. things like that. Like we all like got together and just like painted and then we'd be like, oh, how did you do that? Or, mm-hmm. or you know, it's like that chance to be like, oh, I saw that thing you posted on Instagram. Could you talk me through how you did that? Yeah. And then you can actually have these conversations that like just aren't the same yeah. Yeah. online. Yeah. Yeah. Or at the end of birds when we were all gathered around Veronica, she was pulling a, a, oh. like a coach line. She'd yeah, been like painting long, this long brush. incredible piece for like two days of like a bird wearing a cowboy hat and <laughs> had like a lasso. A lasso oh wow. Yeah. A lasso that spelled out birds. Yeah, it was amazing. And it was oh. so like so detailed and amazing. And then she did this like pinstripe border around it. Mm. And she was pulling this like really long line. And there was about 10 of us just like watching her. Oh, yeah. And we were all like... Yeah, <laughs> it was like was twenty. Good. It was or something. It was so oh, it was like so all of us were silent, just w- yeah. Watching her. There were just so many like beautiful like, moments like that, yeah. just like celebrating like each other's skills and yes. like. There's moments like that that you'll never forget. Yeah, mm-hmm. you, mm-hmm. and it's you explain it here, and people are listening on the podcast like. Okay, it was a straight line. <laughs> yeah, but like <laughs> even far, yeah. Yeah. even far, you like, try to do it yourself. Yeah, right. Yes. <laughs> And that's a good point. Other people that do this skill anyway, mm-hmm. that see someone do it at a super high skill, but even just sat across the table, mm-hmm. like, you were clearly really into that line. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. 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 Like, you were painting it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You, so feel it. you feel the pressure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you need to do more of them. So, mm-hmm. more courses. Yeah. 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 Intermediates. Mm-hmm. Would you would you go into like advance after that, or do you think that's like separate day <clears throat> teaching? Where does it kind of stop? Possibly, it's kind of tricky to know what people's levels are in so many different things. Yeah. Mm. Um, so it would be maybe more like a one on one or or one on two oh, yeah, situations, yeah. that kind of thing. Um, yeah. But yeah, for a little bit further down the line, I would consider it. Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. And about yourself, Hannah. Um, I think kind of going back to chatting about the like canal boat style work that I've been doing, I. The, my kind of New Year's resolution is to find a way to incorporate that more into my cool. commercial work. Because um, not a lot of people in Glasgow do them and they're quite unique. And I feel like people don't know that they want them yet. So I'm going to try and show them that, <laughs> yes. they, that they want them yeah. painted. Yeah. Want I'd, love, them. I'd love to do like, yeah, I did like a, um old like kind of traveller's wooden wagon. Cool. Did all like the pinstriping and things like that. And that was really fun. So I kind of want to try and like, get more into that and find more mm. projects like that right okay more kind of folk folk art i guess yeah like yeah, yeah. Getting, like yeah. really like into the kind of old traditional yeah. cool that's cool and you're known more for the, your big block bold letters and stuff aren't you colorful yeah everything. loads of color yeah i'm a bit of color aren't i you're more mm. black and white whereas i like a bit of color yeah spot the engineer in the room right <laughs> <laughs> do you think does it kind of exist like the tattoo culture? Like you go to the person for the style? Like I know you obviously do a lot of, we've talked about it, you just do the, the local stuff It's because you're a local sign painter. Mm-hmm. But there's like certain tattoo artists you'll go to because of their style. Yeah. Does that happen a lot, does it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, definitely, <clears throat> it definitely happens. Um, just, uh, yeah, just depends on the folio and what you're kind of putting out there. I think that was like the biggest thing I took away from like my last year in uni was... Uh, lecturer saying to me like just put the stuff in your folio you want people to see and you want yeah. to do more of and I was like whoa <laughs> like, yeah. I never even thought of that before but it's such a big thing you know like we even like we'll do loads of jobs that were just like oh it, was, it just ended up it wasn't the kind of thing we would do or we would design yeah. but it's just like somebody's like I just need this done like can you do it and you don't necessarily show it to people you know, you know you can do it but like it's just bread and butter stuff and and that mm. kind of thing but it's just like it's your personal projects mm. and the things you work on in your spare time feed into 
the work you're asked to do so mm. it's really important to like keep that ticking in the background mm. and for us I mean definitely our like biggest personal project recently has been the shop front and like figuring yeah. out like how to paint this and the window signs and we've got an A board that we need to like totally finish off so it's like building that side of things will also then feed into like our, our uh, client work as well yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's actually a really good thing to have the shop front mm. isn't it because you can be like advertisement in itself yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I yeah. was doing a shop front this is how I would do it yes yeah. guess what because yes. it's mine uh-huh. yeah exactly. oh it was so weird so like we were like what are we going to do yeah what well, yeah. colours analysis like, by that no. like analysis yeah. by yeah. analysis yeah paralysis yeah. but I think because we were doing so much work in here like we pulled all the walls in we had to replaster and mm. rewire and like everything mm. oh dear I feel like in a way it kind of like didn't allow us that much time to think about it, which I think was kind <laughs> of good. Funny about, actually. Like we were just like, this needs done. Yeah. Do it. Mm-hmm. David Bond was saying about like people always have the budget to do inside, but then they forget like you still have to paint the outside. Yeah. Mm. And that the outside is what be, brings people in. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Should be the that way in. You know? Yeah. Mm. Do you find that here as well? I never thought about it like that. Not as much. No, I think that as we're saying about like the shops, there've been so many of them and they're so mm. prominent instead of like the inside of places. Maybe being a bit more like toned down or mm-hmm. like kind of more uh, just a wee couple of plants here and there. It's quite like yeah. it's quite chill inside. Yeah. <laughs> like most of the, most of the time, it's like the fronts which are, have the most attention. That was good. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely good for you guys. Yes. Yeah, sure. we love it. Yeah. Cool. Anything else you want to cover before we wrap up? No, I think we kind of covered everything that I thought we would. I can't remember anything we just spoke about. <laughs> That's gone. I'm like that at the end. Yeah. I like my biggest job is making sure I don't ask a question I asked an hour ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's happened. Yeah, yeah, it's I guess so. I've not uh-huh. been pulled for it, but the if person, people are yeah. listening to this. So as I said it earlier, <laughs> <laughs> when you asked me this 10 minutes ago, yeah, right. uh-huh. Cool, let's wrap it up at that. Thanks yeah, so go. much for your time, guys. Thank you. It's been Thank nice you. to catch up again. I had mm-hmm. one more oh. question. God, I keep cutting you short. You do have another question. Yeah. yeah. What it's advice, the only good yeah. one as well. Uh, what advice would you give your younger self? Uh, oh, oh. You can start. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, my younger self or people who are like other, like doing the same Your thing? younger self. My younger self. Okay. Yeah. Speak to baby Rachel. Baby yeah. Rachel. Um, probably just keep painting and keep making connections and talking to people about things and putting yourself out there, I think. Good one. Um, oh God, it's hard to like to not go really deep. <laughs> yeah. oh, deep. It's a deep, deep. question. Deep. It, is a deep, it, is. it is a deep question. Um, I think just like not to be so harsh on myself and to just like not be so scared of like failure and to not just be like embarrassed of things kind of not working out and trying things. I think I was definitely with the whole like art school thing that really like knocked my confidence and I think that set me back mm. a lot longer than it should have done. So mm. I think my advice is like, it's okay that, you know, you didn't get into art school, but don't let it like take up an entire year mm-hmm. of just like feeling like, right. oh, I can't make anything. I can't like, mm. like you, know. you know, be sad about it, but also just be like, right, okay, move on. Yeah, mm. yes, yes, that, yeah. that's not your route. Yes. That's yes. okay. It doesn't mm. mean that like you can't create anything, mm. you know, because I think you can be quite like blinded by yeah. art school being the only route into creative industries, but mm. actually it doesn't have to be. No, mm. it doesn't. It doesn't. I also wonder how much that's going to change with online learning being so big yeah. right now. And there's been, I've been following some big investments that are happening, like online learning courses and ac- academias. I wouldn't want to be in academia right now. Mm, no. I think there's a lot of things that could be completely changed in the next five or ten years yeah but you're absolutely right academia holds such a high regard in current society mm. yeah when you get knocked back it's like oh yeah yeah it is it's like your first kind of big rejection in the yeah. creative world and you're kind of like oh my god it's like maybe started yeah. 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 yeah but yeah i think like i'd like to think that the kind of narrative is changing and you can you know you don't have to have gone to art school and I feel like you know when I first started out people would be like oh and where did you study and I'd be like oh well, I didn't study mm. and I feel like that is kind of coming up less now mm-hmm. people are asking me less hopefully because the proof's kind of the starting pudding. yeah we're starting to believe that you don't have to go to uni to yeah. get into the creative industries and you're shown you can do it yeah you're like well I can still do it yeah probably awesome. 
That was really good to chat. Yes. Thanks, yes. thanks for coming. No, thank no, you. Thanks. Love thanks the shop. Uh -huh. Thanks. Thanks. It's, I love brick and mortar. There's something <laughs> yeah. about brick and mortar. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yes, it's uh, still there. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to miss it from the road, that's for sure. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Really, I mean, this look, people staring at it as they go back. And right I'm now. surprised we didn't have anyone What's coming that? in. Yeah. Like, oh, no. <laughs> no Do you ever just go out and be like, buy a sign? Do you have any cockles? That's what they asked us for. Cock not cockles. Well, uh, cockles. Welks. Welks. That was well, it. Do you have any welks? Welk? I don't know. I don't I think know. It's some like kind of shellfish oh, type. Oh, from the previous days. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Like, okay. like things that stick yeah. I mean, does it look like gross? I don't know. It's like, it's insane. That was definitely insane. someone who went home and was like, ah, it's the same papers yeah. or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Total Glasgow banner. Yeah. <laughs> we had um, someone come in yesterday and said it still smelled like fish. Oh. We can't smell it. Definitely does. No, that's good. And I've got a good sense of smell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can't smell it. Which is the most important thing, if we can't smell it doesn't matter, as long as we don't smell like fish in the world yeah. and don't know about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Taking on the smell of the shop. Yeah. Like. That's brilliant. Wicked. Well, Let's wrap yep. it up. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks for being involved since day dot as well, Rachel. Yay! Edition 1 through podcast 71. Yeah, cool. Maybe 72. 71, I think. 71. That's a lot. It's a lot of podcasts. That is a lot. <clears throat> Apparently... If you get to your fifth podcast, you're in the top 10% of podcasts ever. Just because most of them drop off. Drop off. <laughs> Four so, five. Heard it here first, I'm God, in the top yeah. 10%. Yeah, you were talking about the it's attention spans, weren't you? I know. Five podcasts and then bye. Yeah, <laughs> that was short lived. Uh, too yep. much effort. Apparently, that's the stat. Wow. Most people don't get past five. Mm. I might have got that totally wrong, but I think I've got yeah. it right. No, you're right. You're mm -hmm. right. Ace, right. 